Mais Geek de volta, e eu sei que estamos todos ansiosos para a segunda temporada de Power Rangers, Dino Fury, e quem melhor para falar dessa nova temporada do que os próprios atores? <risos> a gente bateu um papo, uma entrevista exclusiva com o Ranger Vermelho, o Russell Curry, e com o Ranger Dourado, que é o Jordan Fight. Incrível. Olha só, cara. É. Olha só. Mas antes dessa entrevista incrível, eu tenho que lembrar vocês que, ó, mais geek aos sábados das 7h30 às 8h30 da manhã com Dragon Ball Super. Então, ó, não perde. E mais, mais geek na 89. É, também estamos na Rádio Rock aos sábados das 10 às 11 da manhã. Toda a galerinha aqui falando desse universo geek incrível, descomplicando o complicado do desconhecido. Agora vamos lá. Fica com a entrevista e a gente volta daqui a pouco. Thank you for having us. We are here with Russell and Jordan. We are here with the Red Ranger and the Gold Ranger, which is a lot. Which is great, <laughs> right? So, uh, first of all, uh, I see uh, Russell and Jordan, you are from very different generations. Russell is from 87, R Jordan is from 2000, right? Uh, <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. I am from 87. I grew up watching Power Rangers and I, I watch Power Rangers with my son. So have you guys grown up watching Power Rangers? Yes, most mm -hmm. definitely, most definitely. Uh, my favorite color was red and I knew a roundhouse kick was coming on that Saturday <laughs> point. So I was, a, I was a big fan of it, going around the house, getting myself into some trouble. So I, I was a big Huge fan of Power Rangers. Which Power Rangers, which series uh, have you watched when you were a kid? And that's what I don't know. Like, a lot of people ask me, which one was it? <laughs> I don't know. I just knew the real one was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> And whatever whatever season I was at the time. So I think I stopped watching it when I was like six, seven, around that age. Uh, mm -hmm. I stopped watching. So I, I, really, I'm, I really don't remember <laughs> at all. What about you, Russell? Uh, well, since um, since everybody knows my actual age now, I'm just messing with you. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but but you know, I have I feel some kinship with you. You know, being the year of the rabbit together and all Leo. So, um, yeah, I was six years old when Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, hit the air. So, man, for for people our age, as you know, like there was nothing bigger than Power Rangers at that time. Like that was it. Uh, I had so many toys. I still have some toys. Uh, right. And, um, you know, I just like my friends and I, every birthday party, someone was getting a Power Rangers something for their of birthday. Of course. And everyone was in line like, no, let me play with it next. Let me play with it next. So yeah, that was just like such a huge part of my childhood. So, and red's my favorite color. And Jason was my favorite Ranger. So when it all comes full circle, the way it has it, it really, I, I don't believe it sometimes, you know what I mean? Like I have to really remind myself like this is this is what you've done in your life so far. Like this is a pretty crazy, um, amazing, beautiful accomplishment. So that's, yeah. So you guys have grown up like, like training to be Power Rangers almost, right? In a sense, you could say that, yeah. <laughs> yes, in a sense. <laughs> What kind of training uh, have you actually had to, to, to have for the roles, like uh, martial arts training or have you al already had martial arts training before? What is your trajectory to becoming uh, a ranger as an actor, as an artist? So I think mm. uh, all of us have our different, our different um, you know, stories to that, but mine in particular, I didn't much have a martial arts background, but I did have an athletic background. Um, I played sports in high school. Um, right. And that was like my, that's what I had behind me. So um, I guess I was teachable enough for them. And mm -hmm. we went down to New Zealand for a couple of weeks where I went down after everyone else, you know. You know, the golden child was a was a, a late comer to the team. A late addition. <laughs> a late addition, so. But worth uh, the wait, worth the wait. Oh, of course. course, of course. I would think so, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but um, everyone has their, their own different, but that's mine. I had an athletic background. Um, You know, this is my first acting role as well, so I'm I'm fresh oh. and I'm new. To it, so, um, yeah, that's my that's my take on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had no background in martial arts. Uh, a decent athletic background, you know. I, I guess they saw that I was teachable as well, so that was kind of the main thing for me. But we, um, those of us who did get there at the same time, uh, at the very beginning, we got to have three weeks of martial arts and like stunt performance training. 
um, before we started shooting. So that was really, really fun. I mean, that's stuff that I have for the rest of my life now. So I'm really grateful to, to have gotten that training at all. But, you know, it was also necessary and important for the job. So that was that's pretty much the extent of it. I, I plan to continue and keep it up. And, you know, we get to go back. So we're going to get to do a little bit more. So I'm really that's looking right. forward to that. Uh, Russell, you uh, you have a, a longest uh, longer uh, experience as an actor and also as a director, I believe, right? You have this in your there. career. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little uh, research. <laughs> do you plan to uh, maybe, uh, would you like maybe to uh, maybe direct some Power Rangers episodes or something so as you uh, grow your uh, career as, uh, as a full artist? That actually is not something that had crossed my mind yet, but you know, I could see that being something further down the line. Um, that would be a huge honor for sure. I, you know, as a, as an up and coming creative, especially in the era that we live in now, you know, a lot of us wear a lot of different hats. So, you know, I write, direct and have produced uh, as well as acting as acted in my in my life. Um, but I'm fortunate enough to be in a position where I can really focus on acting um, first and foremost. And that's that's what I plan to do for the for the time being. Um, but yeah, I could see later on down the line, you know, uh, if if they would have me, if they would like to have me direct some episodes of Power Rangers, that would be a fun, awesome really cool for full circle moment like a second full circle moment if you will so yeah i mean one of one of my favorite directors to work with we all i love all of the directors we work with mm -hmm. but uh michael hurst um hurst. who is a fantastic actor yeah J jordan already knows fantastic actor in his own right he's so fun to work with because he comes from that acting background Yeah. Um, so I, I really would like to be, I want to be like Mike when I grow up. Oh, <laughs> I hope he sees this. I hope that's he sees cute. This. That's really good. <laughs> uh, and what about your uh, work for the character composition? Because uh, first of all, your characters, both of your characters are aliens, right? And also there is the, the, the all the legacy background of it. You both said that red is your favorite color and you all you grew up uh, wanting to be Red Ranger. So Russell is the Red Ranger and Jordan is the sixth Ranger, which is uh, most of the times the coolest Ranger or the strongest Ranger. And there's also this rivalry between your characters. So how was your uh, work for the character composition um, when you got to approach it? Um, I feel like our our side relationship helped that a lot. Um, mm -hmm. and I, I feel like that's with well, me and Russell as well. Um, we just had that we clicked on the outside, so it was easy when it got time to go to work. So, um, I feel like that helps a lot, and that's with anything in life. Building that outside relationship um, will help a lot with anything. And I feel like me and Russell, we 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 clicked right away, and and we just took it from there. I feel like it got on screen and it made it much easier. You had to have a chemistry, right? Of course. Yes. yes. I mean, I think um, there's so many layers to it. I think, you know, our our real life age difference kind of automatically made this sort of like older brother, younger brother relationship, mm -hmm. which is kind of what they were going for. A generational clash, right? Yeah, a little bit of that. You know, I think just our, our natural personalities are, are really similar to our characters. Um, And I think that causes like a natural clash, but also really fun dynamics. And, you know, I think, you know, we talk about we're the uh, season of first. So we're the first uh, Power Rangers team to have two African-Americans on the same team. And it happens to be the two of us. And yes. when jo so Jordan was gone for a while and we started doing or he wasn't gone, but he hadn't he didn't make it till later. And we were doing a lot of acting um, work and stuff like that. And we everybody had their counterpart to work with. You know, we had mm -hmm. the Garcias and we had the Ollie and Amelia and thing. And I was kind of alone. And then Jordan showed up and, and in real life, I was like, oh, I have my people here, you know, like my, <laughs> my person's here. So it's kind of this, like, it worked on two levels. It worked that way in real life. And I think that that was a really um, beautiful way to bring that into, into, you know, us finding our people yeah. in the show. So that was, so much fun and we we really loved just uh all the character work that we did to to get prepared for the role it was a it was a really good time 
Amazing. So we are uh, approaching the world premiere of the season two of Dino Fury. What changes from the season one, from season one from to season two of Dino Fury specifically? Oh man, the writing. <laughs> the, the writing. Uh, it was more freer in season two, especially on this back half that comes out um, tomorrow. So um, I, I can't. I can't really wait. Uh, uh, character development, storyline, um, Zords formations. <laughs> uh, yes. It's so much that 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 I know I'm forgetting <laughs> something right now. But um, yes, I just can't wait. It's it's all it's all new. It's something that people say they haven't seen yet. So I just can't wait for the rest of the world to see it. Yeah, I um, I, a lot of questions are going to be answered. All the questions that you want answered are going to be answered. Right. And uh, you're going to still get some surprises that you may or may not have expected. So I'm really excited for people to to have that. So uh, let me. Uh, there's a curiosity I've always had when I. As I said, I watch a lot of Power Rangers with my son, and I my son loves Power Rangers, and I always uh, try to identify how much do the, the production, the writers, the, the actors, how much do they approach the series as a kid's show? So how what is this uh, for you? Do you think of the series as a kid's show, and will it change maybe for Cosmic Fury or something? Um, mm, good question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good question. <laughs> um, I feel like when it was much more like our the first half or well, season one was, you know, Nickelodeon and things like that. You can see that. I don't know if it was because, you know, it was a, it's a mindset thing. So I don't know if it was a I don't know if it was just like a Nickelodeon. OK, it shows on Nickelodeon. It's a kid show. So I, I don't know, because. Now that we with Netflix, you know, naturally it's built into our minds. Okay, it's an old, it's for, it can be for an older audience as well. Right. So just because our show was based on, okay, it shows on Nickelodeon, it's a kid's show. Then now it being on Netflix and it's just like, okay, um, so is it an adult show now or is it Changes like, a little of the atmosphere of the shooting maybe? It, it, um, to an extent, to an extent. <laughs> I feel like... Yeah, like the the target demographic is still gonna be younger, but right. you know we have adult fans anyways. Of course, so, and they're going to they're enjoying the show. I think, you know, especially with the second half of season two, it it does feel slightly more mature because we have a storyline that weaves through multiple episodes, and you know it's not something that the a typical kids show is going to just be, um, you know every every storyline is kind of succinct in one episode but we have this you know multiple story multiple episode story saga um that i think everybody can appreciate um yeah. but yeah at, you know there's always going to be some writing that's geared towards the kids because we know that they're watching and yeah. there's going to be some and i'm really grateful that there's some writing that's geared towards the adults so it's um it's hard to just pin it down and say it's just one thing because power rangers is power rangers exactly it's power rangers you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> there must be i know behind it I would just ask you to uh, maybe if you can send a message to our fans here in Brazil because this interview is for Brazilian television for Mais Geek, our show. So what can you tell uh, the Brazilian fans about the season two of Dino Fury and about Cosmic Fury and the future of Power Rangers? Oh boy. Um, thank you for watching. Obrigado for watching. Uh, did I do that right? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, <laughs> Thank you for watching and I mean, we love our Brazilian fans. You guys show us so much love and I, I know that you're gonna love what we have in store. Yes, um, love you guys. I see you guys' comments. Um, sending love, I get on Instagram Live, you see Brazil happening in there, so. Come to Brazil! Yes. <laughs> yes, I, I still haven't been, that's a, that's a must. Yeah. Yes, yes, but love you guys. Can't wait for you guys to see the second half. Um, it's gonna leave you on the edge of your seats. Um, and I can't wait. I can't wait for you guys to see it. All right. Thank you very much for your time and thank you for having us and uh, bye bye. Olha, muito legal essa entrevista, né? Não, Ritter May? Bom demais. Sabe o que é legal também, cara? O quê? O quê? <risos> o quê? Brinquedos. Muito, Brinquedos. muito legal. Todo é mundo gosta de brinquedo. Eu vou pegar aqui, ó. Quem sabe faz ao vivo. Hum. Vou pegar aqui, ó. Temos o Ranger Vermelho do Dino Fury. Aham. Uh -huh. 
né, do Rio Soldier, e a Pink, a Shelby, a Ranger Rosa do Dino Charge. Brinquedos da Hasbro, que você encontra da linha Lightning Collection, uma linha que tem dezenas, centenas, quantos milhões de personagens. Tem mais dois aqui, ó, já que tem, tem os mais, heróis. Tem, mais? tem ah. os vilões também, eu vou Eita. colocar aqui o Gepetto e o Soldado aqui, ó. Esse é o que? Ele Play. falou que é o Gepetto, que é o criador dos monstros, Soldados de Massinha. Você é lembra o Soldado de Massinha Pinster. do primeiro Power Ranger? E, cara, tem a malinha Pinster. com o Soldado de, 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 de Massinha. E os soldados do Power Ranger Zell, os não, vilões do não Power são Ranger de Massinha, Zell. mas estão aqui. Olha só, que legal. Vamos agradecer o pessoal da Hasbro que mandou pra gente. E essa Valeu, linha Hasbro. aí o pessoal pode achar já nas lojas, né? Com certeza. É isso aí. Mais de 100 figuras já colocadas na coleção aqui Lightning Collection. É muito bom. É muito magazines aí. Ó, muito é. bom. Mas ó, eu quero saber de vocês aí de casa, qual que é a série de Power Ranger que vocês mais gostam? Vão acompanhar essa segunda temporada? Deixa pra gente nos comentários desse vídeo e não esqueça de seguir a gente nas redes sociais que estão aqui na tela. Acesse também o nosso site geekhero.com.br com as notícias mais fresquinhas desse universo de Tokusatsu, de Power Rangers e de todo mais o conteúdo geek aí que você gosta. E se quiser um Funko Pop de Power Rangers, acessa loja.geekhero.com.br que tem muitas coisas legais lá, você vai encontrar muitos figuras diferentes lá, além de Power Rangers. Aí deu uma engasgada na rede morfagem deu, aí, deu, mas foi. Deu, é, é que a mas gente foi. tá ali, ó. Pá, 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 pá. Pessoal, muito obrigado por você que acompanhou a gente até agora. A gente vai ficando por aqui e a gente se vê, é claro, no próximo programa. Tchau, tchau.